ultimately, leadership might be something easier shown than discussed, because most people can point to a leader and tell you what makes them great. However, even some of the top organizational leaders themselves can't seem to agree on a good definition, and without a strong foundation, determining the qualities of a good leader is far more difficult, so finding some sort of basis for leadership is necessary. Peter Drucker, the late management guru, defined leadership quite simply. In his view, the only requirement for a leader was that they have followers, but this doesn't seem to capture the other important nuances. For example, that leaders have the ability to take a vision and bring it to life. In fact, this is the view of Warren Bennis. Yet this too suffers from simplicity because it neglects the role of other people. According to Bill Gates, leaders are those who seek to empower others. Furthermore, John Maxwell claimed leadership is nothing more or less than influence. But none of these attempts at defining leadership seem adequate alone because they all fail to take into account one or more important aspects. Generally speaking, leaders need to have both vision and followers, but moreover, they must use their influence to maximize the effort of followers in order to accomplish a shared vision. So, at the most basic, a leader has a specific vision, enlists others to the cause of fulfilling that vision, and influences and empowers them to accomplish the shared vision. With these criterion, it's also important to point out that leaders aren't necessarily born, they're made. While certain personality traits help a person naturally gravitate towards strong leadership, it's a learned skill. So some might have to work harder to be leaders, but it isn't completely out of reach. More than likely, most people can point to a great leader in their life, perhaps a teacher or coach, spiritual advisor, manager, or something of the sort. But unfortunately, most people can also point out terrible leaders, because with the definition provided, there's room for both the positive and negative. The ability to inspire others to accomplish a shared goal doesn't mean the methods used are appropriate. It also doesn't mean leaders always accomplish their means ethically, or that their goals were even good to begin with. In fact, history is full of bad leaders with heinous plans, and that means understanding the qualities of good and bad leaders alike is vital. Ultimately, effective leadership toward the wrong ends can have devastating consequences. But similarly, strong leadership toward good and wholesome ends can reshape an organization. And furthermore, strong and ethical leadership can beneficially impact society. So those in authoritative positions would do well to invest in the qualities of a good leader. In the end, even if their impact on society is small, they'll have made a positive difference for their team.